What's going on YouTube? Gio's not right here. In today's video, we're discussing about Scout Simmer, which has been released. It's a theming software created for iOS 17, iOS 18. It works on all devices and it allows you to change the icons on your device for your installed applications and of course, theme them just like you would do on a jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your iOS device if it's stuck in recovery mode, boot loop, black screen, DFU mode, and so on. Definitely check the tool out in the link below. So as you remember in my previous video yesterday we talked about SCAD's femur which was announced at that time and it would allow you to essentially customize your device your icons just like you would install a theme on your jailbroken device although with a little bit more manual work because this is not based on anything major like a kernel exploit or something just the sparse restore which is not powerful at all now it's now finally out quote SCAD's femur version 1.0 is now available on github so it's completely open source please you the readme for more info including limited and usage instructions. And if you go here on GitHub, this is the complete code for the themer. Now, there are some limitations that you need to keep in mind. We're gonna read them out. First, it says this can only theme user apps and removable system apps like tips. So applications that you install from the app store and applications that can be removed if you hold them and tap the X button. System apps cannot be themed as they are not in VAR. System apps being those that cannot be removed that come with iOS. There is no way to forcefully trigger an icon cache refresh which is needed for custom icons to show up. On iOS 17, it sometimes refreshes after reboot, but this can be inconsistent. On iOS 18, users may be able to make custom icons show up by messing with the icon customization feature, toggling between tinted and dark icons. So while you can theme the icons, it might be a little bit problematic to get them to show up until the UI cache refreshes, so it may take some time. And grabbing each catalog is fairly tedious. You will have to do this manually. Again, you have to imagine that this is not made with a jailbreak. This is not a tweak or anything. This is based completely without a jailbreak, just on sparse restore, fairly easy and not at all powerful exploit. It says it supports iOS 17.0 up to 17.7 and iOS 18.0 up to 18.1 beta 4. This is on all devices, including the newer ones. And here is the usage. Now, as I said, this is not for the faint of heart. You do need a little bit of patience. There is a lot of manual process involved in here, but then you also need to be able to set up your your device and your computer properly. So first you need to install Pi Mobile Device 3 in your Python environment. You will need Python to begin with and you follow the steps over here. And for grabbing the theming catalogs, these are the steps involved. So as I said, there are quite a lot of things going on over here. It's not at all that hard if you do get the gist of it. Now I will make a tutorial at some point for how to do this, especially since this is a new tool and it's the first time I see theming with Sparse Restore. But yeah, the tool is now available. So definitely check it out below and do let me know in the comments if you do need a tutorial for it. Thank you for watching, I am GS Now, peace out.